What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I'm back in the studio, I'm actually home for fall break and I had an Evike mystery unboxing come to me. I also have some other little things that I got while I was gone on break, um, but I'm home for like four days. So without further ado, let's get into the first unboxing. This is actually an unboxing um, one of my friends, uh, his name's Matt, sent me and he actually makes paracord bracelets. So I'll have the link of it in the description. It's called Sanctified Weaving Company. He's just one of my friends. He's actually from Alaska, which is really cool. Um, you can go follow him on Instagram at Sanctified Weaving. Um, and it's just like a really cool stuff that he, he kind of does. And as you can tell, he does like different kinds of paracord. So he did these colors for me. This is like an orange um, teal color scheme, which I thought was really cool. And then he has an interesting way of um, actually having the bracelets attached to your arm and to, and to hold. It's kind of like a, a loop and ball and you kind of push it through and then pull this there. And so that's, that's like really cool. And I've actually, I'm gonna put this on my backpack. Um, and then this one's actually his uh, Kickstarter program, which I'll also, also have in the link. Um, but this is just like a cool different knot. I don't know anything about paracord and weaving, but I just know like, I have like three of them on my backpack already and I like them. I don't really wear bracelets, um, but just because like, I don't like the feeling of on my wrist, but I really, really like these bracelets. These are cool. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys those real quick. And then I don't know what this is. I think it's some sort of just, it's just paracord, um, but it's some sort of like knot or something to hang. I, like I said, I don't honestly don't know, but he said, I forget what he said this was, this one was, but it's just kind of cool. Um, other little knot thing. I think this is like a keychain kind of holder thing. Um, but it's anyway, it's really cool. The link for those will be in the description if you guys want to check them out. I like Paracord and these are my friends. So I figured I'd, I'd help them out. Um, this is a WE super cool uh, MNP. I don't actually think, I don't think, I think they call it the Toucan is their uh, name for it. Um, it's a WG or WE MNP 40. This one's actually broke. I got this from my friend for like $30. I just bought it from him because it's almost brand new. Um, it's, it's like, I mean, it's in brand new condition, but it just doesn't work. So I think the low, the lower needs replaced and I heard the mag leaked as well, but I was like $30 for a new pistol. Um, figured I'd show you guys exactly what that was. Now let's get into the two unboxings that I have. So this is actually, I don't know what this is, but this is a, a gun that came for my brother, sure shot Ninja, the tech master, um, who works on all my guns. This is something that is for him. Um, so he's like, yeah, you can unbox it if you want, cause he's like, He's like, whose package is this? He's like, I don't, I don't like, I need to, I need to work on it eventually. Um, but he's like, you should unbox it in your video. So I was like, all right, I will. And it's pretty cool. I don't know what exactly is in this. My mystery box is actually this one under here is 23 pounds. So I don't remember what any of like the awards were, like what the biggest prizes were, but I'm guessing it's either that or it's two guns individually, which is pretty cool. Got some awesome homework probably. And then, looks like an M4. A Fighting Cat Close Quarters. This is a GMP, I think. Wow. Hide Fibua Obua. I don't know what those are, probably Latin. Huh, that's kind of cool. Make split second decisions to avoid friendly casualties. This is, I think this is a GMP Fighting Cat. He's got some sort of like rubber grip thing here on the trigger. It's pretty cool. So just a normal stock. I wonder what the upper looks like. This is, that lower, like I haven't actually seen one of those fighting cat lowers in person I've just seen one like, ooh, it's a block two. Huh. Man, that's pretty. He's got a pro in it. I don't know what kind of barrel this is. Oh, he taped the barrel so it could like stay in there better. <laughs> He's got double O-rings on it. Wow, this is a nice upper receiver. This is a nice gun in general. So Jared will actually be upgrading that, and it looks it looks like a cool gun. I don't know if anything else is inside of it. But without further ado, let's go to the mystery box. So I did pretty well on my last mystery box unboxing. I got a uh, VFC MP5 Pro Line, which I actually ended up trading to James for another gun. But I got the Pro Line VFC MP5, and that was sweet. I'm, maybe this will be, an, I'm thinking this is either two guns or an LMG. Looks like it's two guns. Okay. First one, Echo 1. I see something good. Echo 1, M4. M4. Whoa! This is the Zombat one. Cool. Body is... Polymer, rail systems, metal, I think. 
the body's polymer. Uh, this is the the Zombat Striker. Yeah, that's what it is. But look at that flasher. That's pretty cool. I don't know which tier this was, but I don't think this was one of the normal normal ones that they gave a lot. So Echo One M4. But what's, there's another gun under it. King Arms something. So all a box, all this is kind of, oh, you know it's a real high quality gun when you get a battery that's bigger than uh, your face. Look at that, that's a Shung Bio 1500 milliamp battery. I'll put that in my bed. The sights aren't bad. This, the front end is, it's, a, it's pretty front heavy because the back's like polymer, so it kind of like, it's kind of, it's kind of more front heavy, but I actually really like that flashlight. That's really cool. I don't know where the barrel the barrel goes through or the inner barrel goes through to there. But this is a really nice flashlight. I wonder if I could take this off and put it on one of my other guns. This is probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, then maybe sell this gun. But this is like a nice rail system, right? This feels like a pretty solid gun. You got your, probably your Echo One high cap. Yeah. You got a foregrip actually. Standard crappy wall charger. I have no idea how much these are worth, but I think that's a pretty good first first get from Got next to the King Arms something. Actually, we're going to do the side items. Uh, Evike pins. 6mm Pro Shop. Speed loader. I actually need those for my sniper, so that's good. <laughs> the 100 patch. <laughs> oh, cool. 100evike.com. You got the 100 emoji. Evike.com. And last, but hopefully, certainly not, really not least. Oh, it's a sniper. These are like those blazer something's. Blazer R93 Ultra LS LRS1 Ultra Grade. I think I paid $150 for this mystery box unboxing. That's not bad at all for either of these guns. It's either 150 or 180, I can't remember. Got your manual and stuff. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Another speed loader. There you go. Blazer R93 LSR1 Sniper. Those some screws put it together. Oh, it looks pretty good. The, these are really interesting. They're like the lowers, so this is what the lower will look like. The lowers look like they're kind of like those competition shooting guns. I mean, you can see like how futuristic this kind of looks. Like it's just like, okay, this is what sh the, you're going to shoot like competition. Like those guys that shoot those 22 rifles and just shoot them at really long ranges. That's kind of what these look like. I'm guessing that's probably kind of what they're made out to be. Um, comes with a magazine as well. This is a cool little thing. Huh. A little weird magazine push button. I actually like the feel of this. I wasn't sure. I mean, like, it's a king arm, so it's not super high quality, but, like, it's kind of got a rubberized texture. Um, it's, it is textured, but, it feel, like, it feels pretty cool. Trigger pull. Trigger feels decently nice. I like that, that like, grip. Um, I wonder how hard the pull, bolt is to pull back. Things even hooked in yet, so I still gotta put it all together. It feels pretty high quality. It's probably pot metal, um, but it looks nice. Pretty, pretty happy with the unboxing. I don't know what what part of the like I said. I ordered this a little while ago, so I don't know what part of the tier this was as far as how good it was. But pretty, pretty solid unboxing. Got an M4 and a sniper rifle. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I know I've been putting a little bit less videos out recently, um, but part two of my American Milsim Iron Horse gameplay will be out within the week. So look forward to that. Hopefully, if you guys liked the first one, go ahead and comment in the description. I know a lot of you talk about really loving gameplay footage, and I really want to get more of that out if that's what you guys want. Thanks for watching this video. This has been Alec Mag 101, and I'll see you guys later.